Hello lovelies, today we're taking a look at a gift for all of Norway for Lamentations of the Flame Princess. This is another smaller booklet, soft cover, about 18 pages, 16, 16, 17 pages of material. Um, cheaper to ship, cheaper to buy, so again I want to encourage uh, this kind of thing from Lamentations, particularly for adventures, which are, after all, fairly disposable, normally. Um, this shares a couple of themes with a couple of other books that have come out in this recent uh, flood. On the one hand, there's a heavy involvement of shit, as in fecal lands, mercifully shorter than that however and on the other hand it involves the exploration of the body of a monster as a dungeon um, which also appears in uh, another book amongst the new releases that's something I like as an idea for adventures um, and one I've been toying with writing an adventure on but uh, maybe I'll I'll wait on that uh, given these releases recently and it's an idea that sounds better than it tends to to execute it's an adventure adventures are hard to review without spoiling things so I'll do my best but warnings I guess so this taps into Nordic mythology to a large degree and also, to an extent, the history between Britain and uh, the Nordic countries, in that we had the Dane law on the on the northeast uh, coast and, and further into land. So that allows adventurers to travel from England um, to the Scandinavian countries in order to execute this adventure which relates to a Jotun or a giant, uh, if you prefer, and it's that's the body you're going to be investigating. So the hook is there. It's nice enough. Um, adventurers probably don't need that much motivation necessarily, but it gives some background. If a character is of the appropriate background, they might be able to learn more. You might be able to do some some research and ideas uh, traveling to the body of the Jotun which is now a man mountain and um, range of foothills and so on that can be interesting in and of itself and then you investigate the dead Jotun or presumably dead Jotun by climbing up its asshole and working your way through its body encountering the things that live there the semi-dormant immune system of the giant and so on before getting to the end of the adventure and things either going horribly wrong or horribly right there's not a lot more to say about it uh, the setup's nice that elevates the adventure a little bit um, over over the standard the artwork's good enough um, perhaps not up to the same standard as do not accept this quest but the adventure itself is a lot better in just about every way possible um, climbing into a monster to investigate yeah it's been done before it's been done better it's been done worse it's it's fine it's just interesting that it would happen twice in the same set of new releases and and that shit would play uh, quite such an important role in two releases in the same set of releases uh, as well i don't know is there, is everything all right at home jim uh, <laughs> just just wondering you know as you get older you take more medications and uh, they can do some interesting things to your guts shall we say um so in terms of style yeah it's it's a somewhat hackneyed idea this takes the idea a little bit further and does a little bit more with it so that's that's to be celebrated 
but it, it's short, it's disposable, but it's also thin and relatively cheap, which is which is all good. I, I really like the cover, the emphasis on scale and everything else, though I'm not necessarily sure about the about the font choice. Maybe something more more runic would have would have suited better, even though it's a more obvious choice. Um, I'm going to give it um, a high three for style. Uh, if the the interior artwork had just been elevated a little bit more, uh, it would it would be a solid four. But it's it's almost a four as it is. In terms of substance, for what you can cram into this few pages um, it's it's useful there are anyway, traps bodily functions I guess and monsters that are reusable elsewhere and so it has more reusability than, than most so I'm going to give it a, a middling three for substance so that is six out of ten, uh, three out of five. I, uh, I'm gonna bump it up slightly uh, because I gave it a high three and a middling three. So seven out of ten, three and a half out of five, slightly above average. Interesting ideas. If you could work it with other Nordic based ideas into a, a string of adventures, um, a campaign of loosely connected ideas there are threads here that you could use to to do that to delve into um, Nordic myth and legend uh, and so on and so yeah there, there, there's more there that you could do with it than is presented in its in its meager pages and again I would like to encourage more like this uh, from Jim it should help tremendously with the shipping costs and it does make things more affordable. And yeah, adventures are pretty disposable. So I don't think they necessarily need to be hardback, massively high production value books. Zang. I have a fairly mellow Discord if you want to join us there for a bit of conversation and debate. We have people from all over, really, and for the most part, it's fairly good natured and peaceful. As long as you come in that kind of spirit, you'll be fine. Are you strong? Are you strong? 